Okay, so using uh, PowerPoint 2003 isn't that much different from 07, so I'm just going to go over the basic uh, basic commands. Uh, well, I guess the commands are the same, just the locations of these commands. Um, but the overall principle kind of applies. So remember, we want to turn our, our slide into a blank slide, so you get a format, and then if you don't see it, you can click on this little arrow thing that like kind of expand all your menu, and just go to slide layout. Should open up this little window on the side here, and then we're going to go blank screen. Right, so blank, and then we want to make our our slide large. So you go to File and Page Setup, and then we want maybe say 48 by 36, and that gives you a nice three foot by four foot uh, poster, and done. Right, so now we have our poster. Um, to insert some text, you just go Insert, and it'll be text box. But again, if it's not there for you, just click on that thing. Insert a text box, and again, the largest thing we want is the title. And I like to always uh, center my title, and the title should be large and dominant, right? So this is not that size, 86. I would probably ramp it up to maybe like 120 or something like that. You can even go as high as 160, depending on what it is. But it should be large. And then if you want, you can have a subtitle. Some people like subtitles, right? And subtitles will be much, much smaller. So we'll, let's maybe this one will make 80 or something like that. And that concluded your name or some sort of other thing. Just make sure an important... Is your disease name is up there on the title. I mean, it seems self-evident, straight, uh, self-explanatory, but sometimes people kind of forget and they come up with a catchy title. Uh, without really uh, mentioning the disease. I mean, the disease name has to be there because that's the whole point. Right? People want to know what the, what it is that you're reading um, just by kind of glancing at your title. The, the rest of the way, insert text boxes for this and that. To make sure that your um, make sure that your headings are. Uh, are large and then you know the information will be much much smaller right so again you can just oops, that's what it's adjust as necessary um, the idea with a poster is that you'd like to have, um, use as much of the space as possible uh, you don't want to write too much information everything should be nice and concise um, and don't uh, over over stimulate so to speak uh, I like to Put lines. Oops, automatic just means black. So that'll start putting lines for your text box, and then as you fill, oops, as you uh, fill information in, it puts little squares, and then you can change the width of that. So if you just click on I right click and you go to format text box, you can make it a larger, thicker line if you want. You can make it a different color if you want. Um, let's see, a big, big, big six point font, or you can make it, you know, dashed, or, you know, whatever. Just play around with it. Uh, the last thing I guess that you can look at is your background. So just right click anywhere on here, click on background, and then you can either put a different colored background, so you can put something ugly like this, mm -hmm. have a unicolor if you want. Uh, more colors, you can choose some sort of color, you have some sort of whatever color you want you want to create. So let's make that one, all right? And it looks like that. You can also have a fill effect. So let's say you want to make a gradient. I don't know what that's going to happen. So something like that, for example, or do it from a vertical or diagonal. Or always, I always like that. Uh, Something like this, whatever one you can again, it creates virtually limitless types of backgrounds, and then you can even put a picture in there. Yeah, let's see if I have a picture to choose from. Okay, let's shoot this one. Alright, so if you want to, boom, you can put a picture as a background. Now, it's it's nice to have a different background, but it's important that when you put a background like this, oops, when you put a background like the one that I just put on there. Oh, you can have different textures going on. It's just something like this. 
Yeah, they look kind of like that. Um, but I'm going to go back to the picture just to kind of get the idea. Because sometimes people like to choose pictures. But when you see this all of a sudden, you notice how my title starts to get difficult to see various things. You start to lose the ability to see things. Now you can get around that by formatting the text box and now putting a fill. So let's say a white fill. That's now have a white box with black writing. So then you can have some sort of picture background and then still have um, still have whatever it is that you want to see clearly visible. Right? But make sure that the text is visible, everything has to be visible. Okay, so that's 2003, PowerPoint 2003, not that much different from 2007. Uh, play around with it. Any questions, uh, just ask.